Hey, it's Ken Lewis with Mixing Night. Today I'm going to tell you why you should always give 100% every time you take the gig. Don't ever take a gig unless you're willing to give 100%. It's really that simple. Whether you're a producer, writer, mixer, engineer, whatever your role is, if somebody actually wants to pay you or give you something in exchange for your work in order to do that work, and you want to take the gig, if your name's on it, just give them 100%. You don't get to choose like, oh, I don't really like this song. I'm going to do okay on this song, but this song I love. I'm really going to go hard on that one. That ain't the way this works. And the unintended consequences of always doing your best work can be really amazing. I'll give you perfect examples. In my career, I knew Cruella before anybody knew who they were. Ariana Grande I knew before she was famous and worked with her. Uh, Kanye West I knew and worked with him before he was famous. And probably the, the biggest is BTS. I worked with BTS before, A, before anybody knew them, and B, before Korean pop was a thing here at all. And I treated them every bit like my biggest clients, mixed the hell out of their first album for them, and now I've done over 35 BTS mixes. That's how you build a clientele, and that's how you build a career. All of these people, I had a choice to make. I could have treated them like, oh, they're some nobody I've never heard of before. I'm just going to do a half-assed job for them and get back to my big clients. Well, all those people turned into my big clients. Down the road, you might be surprised at what comes back to you with both residual work as well as, you know, one or two of those artists that you're working with now that nobody knows might be the one that ascends. So always give 100%, always do your best work. If you're not willing to do that, just don't take the gig. It's really that simple. All of this basically goes to your reputation. Your reputation is the most valuable thing that you have. If you become known as somebody who does bad business, that's going to stick with you your whole career. If you're somebody who's lying their way into getting your opportunities, that's going to stick with you your whole career. Don't be that person. Here's the thing you always have to keep in mind as a producer, writer, whatever it is. If you're not the artist, You've got to remember that tomorrow, we get to wake up and we get to make somebody else's record the next day. But that artist needs to stick with that song and your work for their whole career. They're married to it now. So you can choose to have a bad day and give them some mediocre work, and that's probably the last time you will ever hear from them. Or do great work, and maybe that artist and that song takes off, and they'll reach back and they'll pull you forward in your own career as well. That's how I've built a lot of my career, is by treating everybody across the board the same. All right, let's talk credits for a minute. I'm here to tell you, credits are way more valuable than money. Credits are the singular most valuable possession I own, period. Because those credits are going to allow me to eat forever. That money is going to be spent in a week or two, it's going to be gone, but... When your name goes on that record, for better or for worse, you're married to it. So if you do a really crap mix and that goes on a really big record, people are going to remember that. If you do a great job recording, tracking, mixing, production, writing, whatever it is, and that sees the finish line, people will definitely remember that. And if you get enough of those successes strung together, then people are going to actively seek you out. Here's a very important side note. Don't ever expect anybody else to make sure that you get your credit. That's your job. You know, if you're working on a record label thing or a release or you're working on an independent thing, whatever it is, find the person who is actually assembling the credits. At a major label, that's probably going to be the A&R administration person or the artist manager, sometimes the A&R person. But somebody at the label is going to be compiling those credits Contact that person and make sure they have your exactly right credit. If you don't do that and your name doesn't end up on the project, you have one person to thank for that. How are you spending your alone time making music on your own? You know, are you practicing really at 100%? Are you giving it all of your effort? You start a song, not all of them go well. Don't finish the ones that aren't really catching you, that aren't really hitting you right here. But the ones that are, man, those are the ones that you got to figure out how to give 100% to and really take those as far as you can take them. If you're not practicing at 100% and then the big opportunity comes up for you, you're just not going to be ready. 
There's no switch that you can just flip to go from, oh, I've been doing 80 for the last month, but now I've got to jack it up to 100. That is not how this works. It's just like sports. You've got to train your ears and your instincts and your gut just like sports. You know, you got to be in the gym, which is the studio, and uh, really honing your craft so that when that big opportunity comes, the thing that could actually help your career push it really forward, that you're ready to switch on the 100%. Plus, you may not even know in the moment that that song is going to do anything. I mean, my very first platinum record, I had no idea in the studio at the time that we were making a gold or platinum record. My second one, I had no idea in the moment when we were in those sessions, I had no idea. It wasn't a big artist. It was an album cut on an album that happened, you know, both of my first two plaques. I had no idea we were making platinum records. It just never even dawned on me. What did dawn on me is that I walk into every single session giving 100%. I could have chosen to give 80, 90, or 100. I gave 100, and it's probably why I got the second one, and then the third one, and then the 99th one. All right, folks, a lot to think about, a lot to act on. Always give 100%. I always do. If you're not willing to, just don't take the gig. But take enough of those 100% gigs, pile them up, put one foot in front of the other every single day, and you can build a career. My YouTube channel is the most badass on the block, and you want to be a member. Subscribe right now. Do it. What? Okay, I saw I saw you. I saw that. You got it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that subscription. Peace.